today we are looking at the new linux distribution in our channel i never made a video on this distribution so it is called as like a aurora 41 and here is all the information so it has the kde plasma 6.4 before all this information i'm going to mention it one major thing or the important thing in order to use this distribution you need to compulsory install it on the virtual drive or wherever you want to install you need to compulsory install it you can't use the live boot or anything like that so about the system monitor so here is how it's consuming the resources so i installed it on the uh, virtual drive which is a vmware with us i am using like a 60 gb of virtual disk my cpu is i5 1240p and i'm using 8 gb of ram so operating system it says like a aurora 41 from fedora kinoid and the kde plasma you get the latest kde plasma version 6.2.4 and Qt version is 6.8.0 and the frameworks version you get the 6.8.0 so this is how all the resources are consuming and about the applications and the user experience it's way heavier uh, in the virtual machine i don't know how it's going to perform in the uh, real hardware like uh, when you install it on the main pc or work pc so these are all the applications i'm running in the background and the history here you can see the graph of the cpu and the ram and about the process you should be seeing all the process running right now so i tried the neo fetch instead of neo fetch i just type the fast fetch uh, if the fast fetch was pretty much pre-installed so here is the fast fetch information so i'm using my name or the channel name and it says like aurora stable so even if it's a stable version in the virtual machines it's uh, performing way uh, bad when compared to uh, when you install it on the ha real hardware i don't know how it's going to perform but in the virtual machines it's having some issues so there is like a major lags and all those things so it's pretty much okay because in the virtual machines most of the distros will perform better but sometimes there will be some distros which has some issues so it's not the issue from the distro it's from the virtual machines don't think like that the distro should be good but uh, the virtual machine sometimes uh, doesn't handle the distros so about the kernel you get the linux 6.11.3 and uptime it says like one minute because uh, i whenever uh, i restarted it and i typed the fast fetch that time so it's pretty much like a four five minutes again if we type the fast fetch you should be seeing the uptime properly and here is all the information like uh, i'm running it on the virtual machine my cpu is i5 1240p and it says it says like a 1.55 gb because uh, i typed the fast fetch uh, in the beginning and the kd plasma and all those things you should be seeing everything right here 2435 rpm 31 flat packs and shell bash version bash version is 5.2.32 and i i tried to type in like a, i tried to install the inxi so it is taking a lot of time here so i just kept it like that so that's the reason the resources are like that so these are all the processes running right now and when we go to the overview we already have all this information and here is our disk space and everything so i'm going to keep the system monitor in the right side corner throughout the video so you can judge on the resources and all those things and if you want to try it you can try it and here is some of the information which you already saw everything in the beginning so let me close it let me open the browser and let me show you the official website of the aurora linux so here you should be seeing the link you just need to type in like a get aurora or you can just use the search term like a aurora linux use the spelling if you don't know how to spell it uh, you can use like a a u r o r a and space uh, linux and you should be getting all those information and uh, it says like aurora for end users aurora is the image for for people who want a reliable safe and smooth computing experience for everyday tasks and beyond this os for everyone includes those hobby strikers so simply delightful speed and reliability zero maintenance hardware support so you should be getting all the information when you go to the official website or else you can just read everything right here because there is literally nothing other than these things so news and in order to get the aurora or the distribution you can click here or you can choose the scrolling and you need to select your hardware here so choose whatever you want here i'm choosing the desktop or the laptop and primary gpu you need to have like a intel or amd or nvidia i choose the intel because we are running it on the vmware if you are having the nvidia you can go with the nvidia it's clearly up to you i have the nvidia but i'm using it on the vmware so that's the reason i'm choosing the intel and it says like a developer version if you are a developer you can choose the uh, developer version yes or else you can choose the no 
and you should be getting the stable version download iso aurora stable so the file size is around like a 6 7 gb so let me show you that when you click on download iso it's going to show you the iso file here so the file size is around 6.4 gb let, let me close it and now about the kernel 6.11 version it's uh, almost the stable version 6.11.11 is uh, for the end of life so the stable version right now is 6.12.4 and also 6.12 is the lts version if you don't know that uh, i already made a sh youtube shorts video in my channel you can watch the shorts because i'll be posting everything in the shorts in the community page and in the videos so you should be getting all the linux latest news uh, in my channel itself so the main line or the 6 rc2 is the kernel version or the uh, release candidate so it's still in the release candidate so when you go to the releases you should be seeing the lts versions here and if you don't know what is uh, pre-patch mainline stable or the long term here is all the description of whatever the ker kernel is called so here you should be seeing the end of life most of the linux kernel will be ended at uh, will be ending on like a december 2026 just the 5.4 it will be ending on december 2025 so that was the downloading process that was some information let me type in like a about support channel release linux kernel and here is my available ram disk space here is the picture and picture information when you scroll it down you should be also seeing some additional information let me show you that scroll it down and you should be seeing the mesa the mesa version you get is a 24.2.5 here is the information and also you should be seeing uh, when you scroll it down clearly so here is the all the information llvm and the mesa and it says like a VLAN, the desktop environment is a KDE Plasma. So you don't get any other desktop environment, you just get the KDE Plasma. And here is the MESA information, my present monitor resolution. And these are all some additional information. If anything is important, you can just read uh, by pausing the video. And that was all the information from the browser. So let me close everything. And this is how it's performing about the applications. So you get uh, uh, basic applications other than that you don't get anything and also you can see there is like a major lag so it was taking a lot of time so these were the applications these are all the applications you get uh, from these aurora linux so you basically get the kd plasma applications other than that you get the pika backup solar and uh, some system updater weather warehouse these are all the things you should be getting and uh, about the terminal which i already showed you so here is how the terminal looks so it's still uh, writing os3 commit so when you open the preference you should be seeing some changes here so these are all the uh, preference you get and behavior and here are the shortcuts here are the profiles so you can go through all this distribution so it's not a well-known distribution so it's better to go check it out on yourself if you are thinking of installing this distribution it's better to do all the research there is no such information other than some website information so get all those information and uh, if you want to try it you can try it in the virtual machine this is how it performs it will be a bit laggy uh, before installing the inxi it was same thing it was having some issues it's not from the distro the vmware issue it was from the vmware so that's the issue from the vmware it's not a issue with the uh, what you call it like a distro so it says like a process so i'm just going to cancel it i'm going to minimize it and about the wallpapers i'm just going to show you the basic things because i don't want to go through all those things and make a video lengthy this is all the basic things and uh, you can test it on your own and do let me know in the comment section how it performed and also the user experience is a bit uh, heavier on the vmware so that's the reason i'm not going to show all those in things and these are all the wallpapers you get some basic kd plasma wallpapers and some few added from the aurora and when you click on the about it's going to take ages to open so we need to click on apply and uh, this is all those things you get and you get the latest uh, KDE Plasma, so that's a good thing. But you don't get the latest kernel, you get the 6.11, so that's an, another issue. 
and uh, add or manage widgets these are all the common things you usually see in the kde plasma desktop environment so i don't think anything is fancy or anything here and about the kde you already know all those information and also it's kind of heavier so i can't do anything properly here so i'm just going to end the video here so this is just like a, a educational video i just want to show you the new distribution so that's the reason i made uh, this video and if you want to subscribe you can subscribe i will be posting videos shorts every day without missing and also check out my community page in the youtube so go to the youtube channel in my channel and you should be seeing the community page and you should be getting all the latest releases packages linux distros everything and for the videos you should be seeing daily videos and for the shorts you should be seeing daily youtube shorts so this is how it performed it's consuming like a 2.5 gb so the user experience will be completely different when you install it on the bay metal or in the real hardware so i'm running it on the vmware it's not a smooth experience but it's still properly working because of uh, my ram and cpu i have the latest cpu and good ram and also i'm using ssds so it's working like this i don't know how it's going to perform on the uh, a hard drive and also if you have less ram i don't know how it's going to perform you need to have like at least 8 gb of ram in order to run this distribution i guess or else like a 4 gb may be better and for the cpu you should have like a dual core processor and for the drive or the hard disk you need to have like a 60 gb maybe 60 or 40 gb like that so if you want to try it you can try it and do let me know in the comment section so it's not like a well-known distribution a lot of channels made uh, these videos not a lot of channels there are there are like a few channels like a four or five channels made a video on this distribution so this is the latest version and here you already know the error of 41 from fedora kinoid so if you want to try the fedora kinoid you can try it in the uh, fedora website you can try all the desktop spins you can try the workstations so it's a fedora is well known distribution so you can try those distributions and i think i'm going to end the video here let's check the terminal whether it installed it or not so it's still taking a lot of time so i'm just going to close everything and i'm going to end the video here and uh, i will see you in tomorrow's video let me show you the logo screen and i'm going to end the video and uh, try to subscribe the channel and uh, turn on the notification So if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe and also keep an eye on the community page and also watch YouTube shorts because I'll be posting daily. So you shouldn't be missing any uh, news of Linux. So this is how the logger screen looks. And other than that, thanks for watching. Peace out.